Hey y'all, hey. It is January 25th and we got some goals this week. We are going to do an edition of this week's goals. Why? Because, let me just show y'all why. Look at this room. I just got back from Mexico like midnight last night. Didn't get to bed till 2 in the morning. I'm just now getting off from work. Um, but look at this. Look at this. Look at this room. Look at this. Um... I kind of feel like my room looks like this a lot though. Ain't gonna lie to you. But this to me is just a whole nother level of I gotta get this together. So on this week's goals, the first thing we have is to get this together. We got to unpack from Mexico. That's pr probably unpacking from, what is you? You're Vegas. That's Vegas, y'all. That's Alaska. Do not judge me. I don't judge y'all. I don't judge y'all. Um, this is some stuff that I had was pulling and just in case I was going to take it to Mexico and I didn't, it didn't make the cut. So it's right there. Um, those are clean clothes right there. Like we got to get this together. So this week's goals, get this stuff together. Then what else are we going to tackle this week? It's January 25th. I already closed out my books. I closed out my numbers for January. So this means I have no more money to spend. And so I gave myself $8 to go get my car rinsed off, not washed, rinsed off. And then I gave myself $80 to pull from the bank for groceries. Because in this week, for this last week of January, we are going to try not to go through fast foods. And we are going to try to actually make food and prep food and prepare food. Um, so that is on the list, y'all. That is a goal. That is a goal. Um, what else? What else? I need to send an email or get in touch. I've been making phone calls, but I haven't gotten in touch with him with my insurance adjuster because I have two things that I need from him. He needs to send me some paperwork that I can send to my mortgage company for blah, 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 the claims, da, 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 to make a draw, withdrawal check, cash draw. I don't even know, but I need something from the insurance department. So I need that. Second thing I need is some more money to pay this rent. I believe it's coming upon... Um, four months, four months, I think, Jan um, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah, we need some more money. So I need to call him about that. Um, I need to send in property tax information because I did not pay my property taxes. Now come to find out there's a form my mortgage company wants me to fill out. Y'all, penalties on penalties on penalties. So I think I'm going to make a video about that later on, about reasons why you may not want to remove escrow from your account so we should do some pros and cons y'all because we learn and we learn and as we live in okay um i have a company that's interested in doing sponsorship with me i need to get them back some information that they asked for um because we're trying to sell this deal what else we need to do this week i need to update my hoa hoa went up for this year 2022 so i'm still paying like the 96 dollars hoa rate and i believe it moved to 102 dollars a month for HOA. I got some training that I need to complete at work. I'm looking at my list. I have an overall list, but I'm looking at the things that I'm truly wanting to do this week. So that's what we're talking about right now. I need to email Section 8 to make sure that they know all the things that they need to know so that this person can never get assistance from them again, if that's the way that works. And I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go to the grocery store so that we can stay out of them fast food lines. Those are the goals for this week. That is it, y'all. Let's get downstairs and let's make us some food. Bye. I was so tempted. I was like, I did not make a video yet. So technically, y'all don't know. So I can sneak through a drive through and none, no one would be the wiser. But we're going to stay um, honest, y'all. So we're going to go downstairs and we are going to make us a meal. Let me go. Let me show y'all what we about to do. Okay, so we have us a beautiful every plate meal kit. Yes, yes, yes. America's best value meal kit. And we are going to make us something from this kit. I already have the meat out that we're going to prepare. I don't even know what the meal is. I just left the meat out. So let's see. Let's see. In this meal kit, I have three meals that I could make. Okay, so y'all, we have chicken sausage and roasted tomato linguine. We have jam and fig pork chops, or we have mushrooms and pepper jack quesadillas. 
And the, da -da 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 -da, the meat that I left out was right here for the chicken sausage and roasted tomato linguine. So this is what we're making. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all the ingredients that we need. The Roma tomato, the yellow onion, the garlic, the um, chicken sausage mix, the tomato paste, the linguine pasta, cream cheese, and shredded parmesan what i will need that the box didn't provide is some salt and some good old pepper some olive oil some chili flakes optional and i believe i have that some butter and some cooking oil so this is today's meal let's get started all right so i got some garlic and some onion chopped up i broke my pasta i like to break it in half so that's broken in half and then we have this these tomatoes you cannot see them roasting on the top shelf of this onion of this oven nothing special just roast and then we have this boiling and it says that when you're boiling pasta water your pasta the water should taste as salty as the ocean because that's how your pasta gets seasoning and then this is heating up right here i'm about to throw the onions up in this mickey plate This is where we at now. I added the chicken sausage and the garlic and some tomato paste. And then this is boiling. But what's so interesting about every plate is the fact that when you look at this, it's like, what, huh? Like how, like this little bit of tomato paste, how's this supposed to do anything? Um, and then you just watch the magic happen as they tell you to put in some of this and some of that because I know like cream cheese is part of this recipe. It's probably going to tell me to throw in some water and then we're going to see this turn into something, right? Right? So let's see what's next on our list of steps. So this is where we're at right now. So while pasta is cooking, bump, slowly stir it in one cup of plain water and reduce the heat and then add some salt and pepper and then add the cream cheese and half of the Parmesan. Oh, and then a tablespoon of butter. Okay, let's get that water thrown up in there. But in the meantime, here is the mixture. Remember I told y'all, so we got the butter in here. We put the Parmesan in here that's melting and then we got the um water and the cream cheese is in here so that is doing its thing and voila we are done and here is the end product so here goes my food and i just want to show like how big these portions are so this is my one portion but then this is still in the pan and this is supposed to be another portion. So technically, I feel like this actually makes three servings because that's still a lot up in there. Hey, boo things. Um, we are getting ready for work or getting ready to head out for work. Yeah, it's like 11 a.m. 11 a.m. But let me tell you, last night around four, well, yesterday at work around 4 p.m., they asked me if I could stay to support to support a deployment. And I said, yes, because who am I to say no? You know, I think that's the trade-off. I go on so many vacations, I never get any um, slack, any, I don't know what you call it. I, ne I'm never, I never feel uncomfortable about, about vacations. And nobody I work with has ever made me feel uncomfortable in all of the years. All of the companies, all of the teams I have been on. My trade-off for that is I am a yes person meaning I'm not going to come to work and give you a whole hard time when I'm asked to do something that may be um not convenient or not necessarily planned 
or sometimes even outside the scope of my job, right? Because I look at that as the balance of, look, girl, you have all of this flexibility. You get to do all the things you want to do on your time. Nobody complains. And so, therefore, I make sure that when I'm at work, I am there to assist. I am there to help some people out for the day, for the week. Or for the night, as in last night. So around 4 p.m., they asked me last minute. They got this last minute request for somebody from our team to assist in a deployment. That wasn't our team. It was another team. But because it touched some of our stuff or, you know, they needed somebody from our team to stay back to um, be able to test out the system once they brought the system back up to make sure that our stuff still worked. So I was like, of course I can do that. I can do that. Um, the deployment started at 6 p.m. last night. And we did not leave till about 1030 p.m. last night so that's why it's 11 right now but I was already on my phone call this morning so I get to charge that I had said before about how and I'm um, my coffee y'all I had said before about how I'm not doing the grocery challenge I guess I can start driving that I'm not doing the grocery challenge because this isn't a, the optimal week for that for me because um, I knew I had some every plate meals that I could make. So I didn't get home till like about 1030 last night. Got home. I was talking to Jay and stuff and then was going to bed. And for some reason, I just could not fall asleep. So I was up listening, watching like YouTube videos, the Golden Girls, all of that good stuff. So like about 2 in the morning. Normally, my routine is I will play something to go to sleep because normally I will fall asleep while watching. I ain't fall asleep, y'all. So, that's why we're getting such a late start on getting out of the house. That ain't truly right. True. Because I did get up around 7 this morning. I edited a video. That should be coming out in about another half hour. This is for sitting in the tree. And then I just got some stuff together to make sure that I'm set up for success for today. My to-do list, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Our to-do list. That's what we're here for, right? This week's goals. The to-do list. Okay. So I added my mom to my account. For my, the cell phone plan, because one of the phones is hers, and they just get so sick and tired of me having to do things that they need. So I finally added her as a delegate to the account so that she could um, do some things. I ordered my grandmother a new cell phone because her phone is about to become obsolete, so I got that done. Also, I... Um, paid I updated my HOA payment slip um, because the payment did go up so it went from $96 a month to 105 that includes the processing fee I just go ahead and pay the processing fee which is up comes to about $36 a year which is fine with me because again we waste $36 a year doing our eat out thing and sometimes it's just a matter of convenience just let that happen um, from my credit card which is my preferred method of payment because again if any crazy mess goes down with your money at least it's not messing up your real money that may be a debit account so that's why that's my preference um so i got that done also y'all oh my goodness i did not even think about this y'all know we have all the things we want to do for this year our to-do list to include cleaning out the basement like organizing it cleaning it out which i had done before in the past now Jay is right in my brain. I was like, oh, whenever Jay visits or whatever, he going to be helping me. Y'all, why my friend Satori texted me yesterday. And she said she had been meaning to text me. But she said she was watching my video where I was doing whatever I be doing. Y'all know what I be doing in these videos. A bunch of all, all little things. And she was saying, I had said in the video, oops, y'all don't look at my closet. It's a hot mess or something. And that gave her an idea. She said, because she gets so much from my videos, you know, I guess just entertainment. <laughs> and she wanted to give something back. And so she was offering her services to Space Lift for me. And Space Lift is like a facelift, but for your face y'all so she does like organization area beautification just all of that stuff like whatever is needed to make a space feel better be better and just 
operate better. And so she offered to do that for me for free 99 for like my closet. Or she said whatever it, I need. But that was like ding, 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 girl. You can hire some help. And so Tori is, oh my gosh, she is so awesome. I love her so much. I recently met her. Like I've known her family for years. I've known her family for years. And the crazy part is I knew her dad first. Her dad, um, our ancestor now, Dick Gregory, I met him back when I was a writer living this life. And he just really took to me. He mentored me. And we would spend so much time together. But I never knew his kids. Like, I never met his kids. Like, I would see his kids at events and things like that. But didn't know them like that. Y'all, why then me and Ayana became friends? And it was like, I know your dad, you know. And then now Satori. She is so, like, I loved her when I first met her. Like, her energy is that awesome that awesome oh everybody needs her in their lives y'all need her in y'all lives for real and i'm just so honored that she reached out to me to offer me this but i'm hiring her because i want her to help me with that basement and whatever else she's magical she's magical so i'm so excited y'all so we getting this thing done and that didn't even cross my mind that i could just hire people to help me so excited so excited so um that's what's happening right now i feel like i did some other things oh i i did um i reached out to my insurance adjuster because we need that letter from him to send to the mortgage company that's the whole situation which will go on the um update for the rental property update that will go in that video more details on that but i need to reach back out follow back up today because I feel like he should have emailed it to me by now, but he hadn't. Um, and then also, I reached out to him to cut an to get another check cut for rent because it's about that time again. And so he said that he was going to actually talk to the rebuild team to see how long they're projecting, and then they they're going to make the check for whatever that projection is. So that's super dope. Um, I got my clothes together to take back to Walmart. They're in the car right now. We'll talk about that in some video. I'm not even sure. Maybe Money Goals or whatever. Uh, money Moves video. I think Money Moves. And I think I'm going to do a video on the money I spent for going to Cancun. And that is going to come into the story in both of those places. But yeah, so I'm going to return some stuff to Walmart. And then I need to write down on the list that I need to put y'all's car seat in this car. Y'all know y'all's car seat, right? the thing that stops y'all from sliding around see sometimes things only get done when i write it down on a list otherwise i forget and then i remember when i'm in the car and y'all sliding all over the place and it's too late because i'm not home so i'm gonna write that down oh i know what else i was gonna tell y'all <laughs> the other thing i was gonna tell y'all was about the food um and how I was saying that this week wasn't an optimal week for me to do a seven-day grocery challenge. Um, and I was saying how I had the every plate food kits that I've been making. And y'all, I had ate it for dinner Tuesday night. And then yesterday at work for lunch, I bought in my second portion. I told y'all that thing was three portions because I was there eating it. And I got full. So I still have another portion of that left. But then, remember they asked me to stay back to support the deployment. Which I did all the way to 10.30 last night. And what goes with supporting the deployment is food. They feed you, y'all. So they had Firehouse. I think it's Firehouse Subs. So I got a whole sub up in my refrigerator at home. Because y'all know I wasn't hungry. And, um... I got chips. I got three bags of chips. They had so much food, so much excess. I got a cookie. Uh, I think it was oatmeal raisin cookie. So I still have all of that stuff. And today, Thursday, they are, um, my company is feeding us lunch today. And I already placed my order for the Brussels sprouts, which is um, amazing. It's an appetizer. Um, this is coming from Cooper's Hawk, y'all. It's a thing. It's, it's, it's a vibe. So I ordered that. And then I also ordered the soy glazed salmon. 
So that is going to be super yummy. And I'm going to tell y'all. And then it also comes with this big old hunk of, of, of bread, which is so good. So the bread is a whole meal. Like you could do your whole breakfast, like have your bread for breakfast with your coffee or whatever. Ooh, meal. The Brussels sprouts appetizer. That's a meal by itself. And then my salmon usually stretches for two meals. This is why I was saying. I don't need to do the $100 challenge this week. So that's what it is. That's what it is, y'all. So we are making great progress on this week's goals. Today is Thursday. What I would like to accomplish today is, again, doing that Walmart run. And I would like to start unpacking. I was going to do that yesterday, but like I said, that staying at work late thing, what I didn't, you, you know, we got home too late to do anything. So, I'm going to tell y'all another secret, though. Normally, when you can't sleep at night and you're just laying in the bed doing nothing anyway, that is a great time to get up and be productive because you're not going to go to sleep. So, get up and, and do something. Get something done. Um... But I know the hope is that you're going to eventually fall asleep, but you're probably not. Like I said, 2 in the morning, I did not fall asleep. So I could have gotten up and got some good unpacking done. I could have made great, better use of that time, but I didn't. So, but that's just a little tip for being productive in your lives. All right. Good morning, y'all. It's Friday. It's Friday. The week is going good. It's going good. I feel like I'm getting some goals completed. Um, the state of this room, let's show y'all. Um, cause I get in pretty late from work. Oh, don't mind those jeans, y'all. I put on those jeans this morning. I pulled them out the closet, put them on this morning just to discover that I, that, no, they don't fit. They don't fit. So screw these jeans. So that's, so yeah, so look, but we're making progress because I get in so late. What I try to do is just do a little bit at a time. So I did put these clothes back up, the clothes that didn't make the cut. I don't even know what those are. They like some other things that didn't make the cut, but I feel like I pulled them out the drawers down here. I did unpack my Vegas suitcase. So we still have, this is the suitcase from um, where we just came from. Some things are gone from there, but that's a suitcase from Mexico. That's some stuff from Alaska. Um, yeah, so I've been pulling things out one at a time, a little bit at a time. So this is progress. This is progress, even though it doesn't seem like it. It is. I will not be judged by y'all. I mean, I will, but I, I, I wouldn't know about it to care. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. All right, so down here in this kitchen and I walked got the car wash yesterday I returned some things to Walmart yesterday this is all after work this is after putting in a long day at work look I moved these suitcases down here because they need to go to the basement but look this is closer to the basement than sitting in my bedroom ain't it and then let's not even talk about the fact that this is Christmas stuff that needs to be put back up in this kitchen oh my god let's not even talk about the fact <laughs> that we have all these dirty dishes you know what I be thinking about I be thinking about with me and Jay, because I feel like, you know, one day we should live together. So I'm always keeping in mind that when Jay and I live together, this will not fly. It will not fly. Um, not that he will, let's say, chastise me or whatever, but he knows how to say things in a way that you will be in here washing dishes. But not like you need to get in there and he wouldn't have an attitude about it. But he will throw quiet, gentle shade that I will feel at my core. So I always be like, you know, like if Jay was here, girl, you gonna have to wash these dishes. You can't be living like this. So just know I know that. In the meantime, for food, we are doing so well on our journey, not going through fast food restaurants. I haven't gone through anything since I explained this to y'all. And so this is what I'm bringing to lunch today. This was my lunch from yesterday that my company purchased. It doesn't look too appetizing now. I don't think so. I'm not fit. And this is my beloved Brussels sprouts um, that I did not eat yet. And so this, I'm going to bring this to work for lunch. Now, as far as coffee goes, I actually ran out of creamer. So, I'm not going to be able to make any coffee today. And I am so recognizing the fact that a bottle of creamer is about $3 to $4. No more, right? Yet, I'm going to go through Starbucks and get a cup of coffee 
for that same amount, actually more, like five bucks. So make it make sense when you really think about it. You can get a bottle of cream and make all the coffee you want, or you can go buy one cup of coffee for the price of a bottle of cream. It doesn't make sense. But what I am going to do, I told you guys I had some money. I had $29. I'm now down to, I put $5 on my vending machine <laughs> that worked. We have like a little coupon. What is it? Like a little, um, the little swipey thing. So you basically load that up with money. So I put $5 on that. Um, so that put, puts us down to what, $24. Then I spent a dollar in the, um, canteen. So that puts us down to $23. And so I'm going to go and buy some coffee from a Starbucks. That's where I'm going to fail. That's where I'm failing. But that's what we're doing. Um, oh, thank you for reminding me, guys. I'm going to grab this so that I can wipe and wash the dashboard of my car so that I can sit y'all's car seat. Y'all want to be adults though, right? But y'all my babies. Y'all my babies. My babies sit in car seats because I be changing y'all's diaper. I'm putting y'all in the car seat. I don't know. Maybe I need to find some better adult analogies for y'all because y'all are grown. But that's what's happening right now. All right. Talk to y'all later. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Happy Saturday. So I try to use Saturday, well, this Saturday, this weekend, to catch up on the things that I did not get done. So we washing clothes. So my goal is to get clothes, not just washed, but actually fold it and put up. That's the thing. Um... And then open up this guy and see what we have to do. Okay, I sent off this paper, this stuff for the property taxes that they needed, so we got that done. I um, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> No, I feel like I did some other things. Oh, I know. I unpacked my suitcases, both suitcases from Mexico and the other suitcase. And then I washed a load of clothes. Um, I borrowed some clothes for, from a friend because that's one of the things I do as far as vacation strategy and budget strategy go. If you can borrow some things, you will feel like you have some cute new pieces um, and you don't necessarily have to go and buy things. So I got that stuff together so then I can be get ready to return her stuff to her. And I believe that's all I did. I feel like I did more. But yeah. So as far as the food thing is concerned, I've been doing really well. I've been eating on the leftovers that my company provided. And it's like about 11 o'clock or so right now. And I had a cup of tea this morning. Yeah, we need to rock with this kitchen. We need to get with this kitchen. I like started taking dishes out of the dishwasher, but didn't finish taking things out of the dishwasher. But in the meantime, I'm going to eat the sub that I got from work the other day. And it came from Firehouse Subs. So I'm going to put some may mayo and some mustard on these babies. And this is going to be our first meal of the day. Y'all, it snowed a little bit. So I'm not feeling that, not feeling that. You can see that little thin layer of snow. I wanted to go out to the property today. I don't think, look, I'm going to let this little bit of snow stop me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even feel like it. But I do need to go out to the property and check on things out there. So perhaps tomorrow we'll do that. All right, guys. So today is pretty much a, I'm not doing nothing. I'm barely dressed. Um, so y'all see what it is. I'm just kind of rotating between laundry and folding clothes, putting dishes up from the dishwasher one dish at a time. Don't ask me why. Um, watching TV as I do those things. When I say TV, it really means streaming services, whether it's YouTube and or other streaming services. I don't know. Just watching stuff. And then breaking in between things to edit videos. I'm all over the place. And now I'm actually on my way to Chick-fil-A because I was going to eat my um, pasta that I made the other day. But I really not in the mood for it. And what I realized is I have a free chicken sandwich on my Chick-fil-A app. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get that app. And I think I'm going to also get me a um, milkshake. I have $18 remaining from the $29 that I had. So we still have $18. So we're doing we're doing really well. Um, other than that, you know, guys, I don't think between today and tomorrow I'm going to accomplish much else outside of laundry and, you know, working on my room one piece of paper at a time. So we're going to go ahead and close out this video. Thank y'all for being here. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and possibly turn on your notification bell so that when I have videos come out, you can be notified because I know YouTube be funny like that. It doesn't always show you everything that somebody you're subscribed to puts out because they still try to base it off of what you like to watch. So I want y'all to um, grow into liking to watch me. <laughs> so yeah, turn your bell notification on booze. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Light, light, light. And also for those of you who don't know, I do have another channel sitting in a tree and it mainly features me and my boo thing, Jay. It is our relationship journey. Then it's also the place where I put videos <laughs> that I don't get around to editing for this channel. I put it over there because, you know, we got things going on in chronological order over there. So it kind of buys me some more time. So... If you ever find that, hey, maybe I want something else to watch and there's nothing to watch and maybe you will want to come over there to sitting in the tree and watch more of me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Until the next video. Peace.